These are the related posts that I'll be showing you how to create in today's tutorial. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. For this tutorial, you need to create four blog posts on your website. The next step is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the video description below. Once you get here, click on get it for free today. Once you've downloaded it, unzip it and you will get this file over here. Next, scroll all the way down here to Divi and click on theme builder. Click on portability and then click on import. Now we need to import the file that we've just unzipped. All I'm going to do now is to drag and drop it. Click on import theme builder. Next, I'm going to hit save changes. And then we're going to go into our templates to start customizing it. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. To customize this, I need to come over here to expand settings. Click on wireframe view. And what we need to do next is to drag the blog above the call to action. All right, so now our blog is above the call to action. Next, we need to delete the post slider. Click on the plus button. And now we're going to add our blog module and select it. So I'm just going to hit save for now. And over here on this section, we need to add a black background. So I'm going to click on this gear icon, switch over to my design view. And then I'm going to come over here and add my black color. Now I can save. It's time now to go into our blog settings and customize this. So I'm going to start with the post count. So I only want to show three for my related posts. Make sure you select current category. Next, over here on the content length, we need to show the excerpts but we need to uh, specify the length and for our length here we're going to set it to 150. Next let's go to elements because here is where we need to make sure that show featured image is set to yes. Now the other part that is also very important is to make sure that you have show pagination selected. Now it's time to style our blog post so I'm going to come over here to design, click on layout. So the first thing I need to do is to make sure this is set to grid, go to overlay, set your featured overlay on, Next, I'm going to come over here to the slider, drag it down a little bit so I can get these RGBA values. And then I'm going to paste my value in here. This value here is going to add some transparency. The next step now is to add my icon. So I'm going to scroll down here and choose my overlay icon color. So I'm going to go in here and choose white. Next, let's customize our title font. My font is going to be Roboto Mono. I'm going to set my text color. Next, I'm going to set my size and it's going to be 15 and 1.7 EM. We want our design to look great on mobile devices too. So I'm going to come over here and make sure that my sizes look great. Set this to 14 pixels and do the same for the phone. Now let's customize our body text. So I'm going to click on this little icon, choose my font, and I'm also going to set my color by clicking on this eyedropper tool and pasting the value. And for my body line height, I'm going to set this to 2 EM. Now, if you're not a fan of this meta text here over here, you can always customize it by coming back to content, clicking on elements, and you can always disable this until you are happy with how it looks. Next, we're going to come over here to uh, pagination text, set our font here to Roboto Slab, leave the weight at regular and also change your color. Next, we need to add a style so that our blog posts overlap. So what we're going to do is to go all the way down here to spacing and set our margin. For now, I'm going to hit save. The next step is to add a title to our section. So I'm going to hover over here and click on this plus button. So what we need here is a text module. So I'm going to select it. Let's call this related posts. Set this to heading two. So I'm going to highlight it, click on the drop down, select heading two. We're now going to come over here to design and customize this text. Click on heading text. Now remember, we set this to heading two, select this tab, and then let's change our font. And in this case, it's Roboto Slab. Now we're going to add our text size, set it to 54. And for our font weight, make sure this is set to bold. All we have to do now is to drag this above our blog post. So I'm going to save. Now our positioning here for our blog post does not look right. So let's go back in and fix that by clicking on this gear icon. Let's go to design, spacing. And for our margin here, we're going to set a negative margin of minus 12 VW. All right, so this looks great. All we have to do is to come over here and center this text. So here is my text alignment. Now, if you want to go in and give uh, your blog post some rounded corners, you can go ahead and do that by just going into your blog posts, going into design, border, and you can set the amount over here. So I'm going to set mine to say about six or maybe even eight. Let's go ahead and save. And now let's take a look at our final design. So when I scroll all the way down here, here is our related posts. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button because if you do that, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.